Hello, I'm TTOM, your time travel operations monitor, but you can call me Tom for short. I'll be by your side as you work to restore the ages that are lost to time. This is the first video lesson in your time traveler's guide. It's all about the basics of what you'll be doing and how you'll be doing it. But first, Here's the situation. Our time machine has been tampered with and all of human history is now being erased. It's really, really bad. Your mission is to go back to these lost ages and restore them before they, and our future as we know it, cease to exist entirely. Now that you're caught up, let's start your training in the Bronze Age. Restoring a lost age is all about using your resources to produce relics. In the Bronze Age, this means ordering gladiators to fight to produce the weapons relic, which is shown right here. To order a gladiator, tap on their icon like so. These gladiators will produce weapons, which you then use to order even more gladiators. The more fighters you have, the more weapons you earn, and this cycle repeats itself forever, eventually snowballing into values so large the human mind cannot compute them and will short circuit should it try. Once you reach 25 gladiators, you will unlock the next resource, chariots. Each resource that you unlock will feed directly into the one above it. Notice how we have two chariots, and each tap is producing eight new gladiators. We can buy a third chariot and produce 12 new gladiators to add to our ranks. Using your resources to produce ever greater numbers of relics is the core of restoring an age. There's a lot more to keep track of, and HQ will help you know what your priority should be when you're out there in the field. To help you know where to focus your efforts, HQ will provide you with various missions to complete. For this mission, HQ needs you to own 25 chariots. Once you have successfully completed the mission, you will be given a reward. Tap on it to see what you've earned. This reward gave you 2,500 weapons. Incredible work, Agent, but please remember that this is only just the beginning and you still have a lot left to prove. HQ will require you to complete a specific number of missions before you can be promoted. You can view your progress right here. For rank one, we have three missions to complete. Let's quickly run through the remaining two. And now, we can rank up. Ranking up should be intuitive for all agents. However, if it is not, all you need to do is tap the Rank Up button right here. Ranking up will reset all of your agents, but you'll receive a special Rank Up capsule that's filled to the brim with goodies like experience points and heroes. What are heroes? That's a great question, agent, and an even better segue. As you rank up and become more skilled, you'll be able to bring back heroes lost to time, like Spartacus, the famous gladiator from that movie, Spartacus. What does Spartacus do for you? Well, he will automate and provide a permanent time stew speed boost to your gladiators. Once you unlock a hero, you can continue to strengthen them by collecting more of their cards and capsules, and then using your XP to purchase an upgrade. One way to tell if a hero can be upgraded is if this info button is highlighted green with an arrow pointing up next to it. Let's go ahead and give Spartacus a boost. You can see what the upgrade will do right here. We are going from a times 8 speed boost to a times 16 boost for 200 XP. This seems like a good deal to me. There is, of course, more to know about heroes, but this is enough for now. Let's move on to the other most important aspect of restoring any civilization, the civilians. In order to bring an age back to glory, you must constantly bring people back to join their populations. Your population is represented by this icon here. Right now, we're only bringing in one new civilian each second, which is far too slow to stop all of history from being erased. Not to worry though, Agent, you will be able to upgrade your time machine, which will help you bring in more people. These upgrades will require you to reach certain production milestones. Once you reach one, you'll see that the upgrade is available within this tab on the bottom left corner of your game screen. Let's check it out. This upgrade is going to require us to spend 5,000 weapons. Tap right here to apply the upgrade to our time machine. See how we've gained one extra civilian per second? It may not seem like a big deal now, but these little upgrades are what's needed in order to speed up our restoration mission and save all of humanity. It's strongly advised that you upgrade your time machine whenever you can. Congratulations, Agent. You've officially completed the introductory training course. Now you must take your skills and knowledge, hop in the time machine, and get down to work. Best of luck out there, Agent. We'll see you in another time.